Hello, this is Kate at Computer Care Kelowna. Not too long ago I made a screencast like this that, that showed you how to export your email and your contacts onto a uh, little USB stick to back them up. Why would you want to do that? Well, if you're moving your mail and your contacts to a new computer, you could do it for that reason. Um, a lot of people do it just to have a backup of their email and especially of their contacts handy in case something bad happens. So whatever your reason, um, it's good to have a backup. And now I'm going to show you how to bring those messages and contacts into your Windows Live Mail. So um, what we did was back them up onto a USB stick which is here. It's called Drive J. Yours will be called whatever, but uh, we called ours J, and we have a, a mail backup folder, and we have our contacts. And uh, those are the things that we're concerned about, and we're concerned that they're on Drive J. You will need to know that in a minute. So open up your Windows Live Mail. Here's a, a brand new, fresh account. I've set up the uh, I've set up the account. It's Computer Care Kelowna, um, but there's no there's nothing in any of the any of the boxes that that come when you set up the account, and uh, I don't have any contacts either. So what we're going to do is import the contacts first, and then the messages. So if I go to uh, my all contacts which is the default listing and I click on import uh, now I have some choices here um, I have to bring in I have to tell it what the file format is we used on the export we used the CSV format I click on that and now it needs to know where that file is here it is drive J here's the file contact so we click on open and then on next and if you need to make any changes here go for it if you're not sure I recommend just checking every single box and then clicking finish now I, I only had three contacts for this demonstration otherwise we'd be up all night but I started off with three contacts on the export side and I brought three contacts in here so I am done with the contacts. You can see there I am. Okay, so now we go back here to mail, and now comes the good stuff. We're going to import our mail messages. So to do that, we go up here to this little down arrow. We click on import messages, and we tell it what format we're importing from. Now if you're bringing it over from Outlook Express this is what you would pick. If you're bringing it over from Windows Mail which was the uh, format that Vista, the forgotten operating system used, that's what you'd pick. But we're talking about exporting from Windows Live Mail to Windows Live Mail. So we pick Windows Live Mail because that's what we're coming from. And now we say next and once again it wonders where that file could be. So we navigate to J. It's in the folder called Mail Backup or Mail BU and we say OK and then we say Next. Now this is all of the boxes that I exported. I might want to bring in all the folders and sort it all out later. On the other hand I might not actually want to bring in my deleted items but what the heck we'll just bring it all in if I wanted selected folders I would click on selected folders and I would pick the ones that I wanted but we're gonna go for everything so I've selected all the folders and I say next and once again this is just a demonstration so there aren't a lot of messages if you have like you know, email from years ago, it's going to take longer than it just took. Now they're all over here, and I hear you going, well, where are they? I don't see them. There's nothing in the inbox. There's nothing in the sent box. That's because 
When you import your messages, Windows Live Mail puts them in a folder called Imported Folder, and it puts it under the Master Folder, Storage Folder. This, this really makes sense in a geeky way, but if it doesn't make any sense to you, just take my word for it. The messages are here, and they're in a folder called Imported Folder. So we click on this little sideways caret to expand that. And now we click on this one to expand this. And here's the message that was in my inbox. Now, I'm so not going to want to have to deal with two sets of inboxes and two sets of storage folders. So what I'm going to do is take the message from the imported folder and bring it into my actual inbox. If you have a lot of messages, this is going to be tedious, so you know, do it a little bit at a time if you feel like it. But I'm just going to drag that over. There it is. Okay. There's nothing in my deleted items folder. There's nothing in drafts. Now there's nothing in the imported inbox folder. And there's nothing in the outbox. Okay. Now I did have uh, some storage folder items, especially one called Action. So I'm going to take Action. I'm going to drag it up here. And now everything else that's under Imported Items in the Imported folder is empty. I can get rid of this. Okay, so now I've got my, uh, and now I can empty the deleted items folder, right? So now I've got my inbox, my storage folder that I brought over called action, and I'm good to go. If I had a lot, if you want to make another storage folder at any time, click on, and this is where you should make them under storage folder, click on storage folder up here to folders and say new. Um, select the folder in which to create it. Again, storage folder. And uh, I need one to keep track of items for my column. So I'm going to call it column. All right? There it is. So if I needed this in my column folder, that's where I'd put it. I can look down here when I'm writing my column and find all the stuff that I've saved. This needs a response, so I look in action. All that does is keep a lot of uh, unnecessary stuff from building up in the inbox and, and keeps it a little organized. So I hope that helps. Um, what we've done is take some email that we've exported from uh, a program on a different computer and, and bring it into our same email account, which we've set up on this computer. If you have any questions, if you need any help with your computers, please give us a call. We're here at Computer Care Kelowna. Thanks for watching.